See the two screws at the bottom? Only remove them if you plan to open the whole thing. Now, there are four main components that make up a servo motor. A tiny DC motor that spins very fast, a gear train to slow the rotation down while increasing torque, a potentiometer, which is the one in charge of tracking the rotation angle, and also a control board. This speaks to the potentiometer and also manages speed and direction. One of the best things about the servo is that the signal comes directly from the board. You can control them with different Arduinos, SP32s, Raspberry Pis, tons of options. And you don't need extra drivers like stepper motors or BLDC motors. Just plug them in and, well, mostly, I will get to that in a second. Here is a quick test to show you how they work. First, we assemble one of the plastic pieces at the top and add the small screw to keep it in place. All we need right now is an Arduino Nano, three male-to-male -male cables, and a protoboard. Connecting them is pretty simple, positive and negative to 5 volts and ground. Signal to a PMW capable pin, and that's it, you're all set. Once you plug the board to a computer, you can move to programming. 